Support for Just Seen It comes from Acorn Media, distributors of the gripping British detective series Vera, starring Oscar nominee Brenda Blythen, now on DVD. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at warnerarchiveinstant.com. The bucolic community of Chester's Mill is preparing for its annual parade, but a mysterious force field suddenly surrounds the town. Residents realize they are cut off from the world in Under the Dome. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Leah. And I'm Kevin. And we're here today to talk about the new CBS series, Under the Dome. We've all just seen it. Leah, tell us about who created it. Well, this is the new hour-long mysterious sci-fi horror show that is courtesy of Stephen King, based on a book written by Stephen King. We have showrunners and show creators Brian Vaughn, who brought us Lost, Got any Lost fans out there? Mm -hmm. And Neil Baer, who is longtime television producer, writer, who is probably most well known for his work with ER. We've got this small fictional town called Chester's Mill, set in Maine, and suddenly out of nowhere, boom, this invisible, impenetrable dome uh, mm -hmm. just appears over this entire town. The show is formulaic, it follows yes. mm -hmm. all of the hour long kind of horror. Mystery, which there's so many sci -fi. of nowadays. You know, and uh, what did we have? Supernatural and Jericho and Fallen Skies and Lost and, you know, so this whole kind of spate of horror that makes it to the small screen. For me, having Stephen King attached as one of the executive producers tells me that it will hopefully do a much better job than Lost did. This is a very story-based show. Right. Yes. And you know, there's the Stephen King suspense that's in it, and and I think from a story perspective, this is going to be a very good show. From a dialogue perspective and a character development perspective, this show is it's not as strong as it could be. We've only seen the pilot. True. Right. And every pilot always has to do the we need to introduce everybody really quick. Right. We need to we need the, the, thing, this, the, the formula. Has to drop. We got to introduce yeah. the yeah. characters. Then something has to happen, right. and we then we have the to audience. we got to yeah. hook the audience. And right. the formula is what helps us know what kind of show we're watching. So that makes us comfortable, yeah. but then there's enough mystery and switch that kind of goes, whoa, that's different. Right. It's less creative than Hannibal. It's less dark. It's got less character development than Breaking Bad, and it's got less humor than Dexter, and two of those shows are actually coming back this summer. So I think the show will do all right, but I don't think it's as strong as those two. Well, I think Under the Dome is actually different enough from those shows, because those, you know, they're on Showtime, they're a very niche audience. This kind of opens up to a wider audience, because there's lots going on and lots for people to kind of enjoy. So one of our leads is Mike Vogel, who plays Barbie, and he's ex-military, we believe, and Rochelle Lefebvre, who plays Julia, this investigative reporter extraordinaire. And the minute that they appear on the screen at the same time, you think, those two are going <laughs> to hook up somehow. So I really like the teenagers. There's Alexander Koch as Junior, and Britt Robertson plays Angie, and they're together at the beginning, and then something and then happens, and then it gets weirder by the end. <laughs> but I thought they were compelling characters. I like the actors. I found him to be a little telegraphic in his acting. I mean, it was just like, I'm supposed to be crazy now, so here, I'll act crazy. So I hopefully, you know, with some other direction. Right. So Dean Norris plays Big Jim Reaney, who's hiding something. We know there's something weird going on with propane, and he seems actually like one of the more compelling characters to me in the show so far, right. and that's, I think that's the writing. Um, but I do believe he will become one of the main characters to watch. The director of the pilot is Niels Arden Oplev, who directed actually the Swedish version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And I think he does, you know, a serviceable job. I mean, it's not overly stylized, but right. it has a, you know, a nice look to it. Yeah, the pacing uh, is very solid. There's never absolutely. like a dip in the action or any yeah, energy. No. Oplev clearly knows what he's doing behind a camera and is able to deliver serviceable performances, although I think that there is more work that could be done in terms of nuancing some of his actors' work. 
I had a hard time with the geography sometimes. I yeah. didn't really know where we were, if we were inside the dome, if we were outside the dome. Right. That was the big confusing thing, yeah. is you're seeing all these cars and people like in emergency mode rushing around. You're like, are we in? Are we out? Right. I don't know. And sometimes you can't even see the dome. Right. Because well, it's so transparent. Right. I'm like, are they really talking to each other? Or are they? Uh... But he also did a good job with things like special effects. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, yes. you can see that there's some money on the screen here. This is part of the risk taking that I think CBS has engaged in and working with Stephen King and I think it's I think it's going to work for them. So where do we think the story's going to go? I mean you've got you've got a bunch of ants basically that are caught under, you know, a dome <laughs> or a bowl, whatever you want to call it. We don't know yet. They're all right. going to be fighting for resources and it's going to become a power struggle. There's a supernatural element that is working its way throughout the storyline mm -hmm. as also. So I think that there's enough for everybody going on in this show. I agree. It's hard to judge a series based on one episode, but I think the characters and situations are so intriguing that I'm going to say see it. Under the Dome feels very familiar and predictable, but I think there's enough mystery and intrigue and great performance to keep us watching. I'm going to say see it. For some reviewing, the show is better than most, but I feel like the dialogue and the characters could use some more tweaking, and for that reason, I'm going to give it a stream it. Our votes add up to two and a half tickets, which is a see it for Under the Dome. Cheers. Cheers. Let's hope we get out from Under the Dome. Oh, okay, no. we just dig under. All right. Oh, under the Dome. Under the Dome. Under the Dome. Yeah. Under the dome. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Acorn Media, distributors of the gripping British detective series Vera, starring Oscar nominee Brenda Blythin, now on DVD.